Hi, everyone. Welcome to the show. I'm Tiffany, and I'm Elsie. And Elsie, did you read or do you still read Japanese comic books? Hmm. Yes, I read a lot of Japanese comic books. I love them. What did you read, and what was your favorite? Maruko, In Tao Xiao Wan Zi, and Crayon Xinjiang. Oh, what about you? Okay, well, actually, I really liked reading one called Rama One and a Half in Dragon Ball Z because of my little brother.、Um, this is not—I didn't read the comic book, but I really, really loved Sailor Moon. Oh, I used to watch Sailor Moon cartoons every day when I was a kid. So, which comic book are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about one of your favorites. <gasps> we're talking about Crayon Shinchan. Does this sound familiar? Crayon Shinchan, 蜡笔小新 That's right. Or we can also call him Little Crown New. And this series is so funny. Then what are we waiting for? All right, then let's take a look at our article and learn more about him. Reading. Crayon Shinjan's newest adventure, Shinosuke Nohara, or Shinjan, is always getting into adventures, and in the end, trouble. Although he lives a normal life, this five-year-old is anything but normal. He often makes strange jokes and shows his bottom in public, which drives his parents, friends. And teachers crazy. He hates green peppers with a passion, and will do almost anything for cookies. Shinjan is also the star of the manga and anime Crayon Shinjan. This manga series first came out in 1990, and was turned into a TV anime in 1992. Shinjan lives at home with his mother. Masahe, his father Hiroshi, his baby sister Himawari, and their white dog Shiro. Masahe is a housewife and is strict with her family, but often secretly breaks her own rules. Hiroshi is given a tiny allowance from Masahe, but finds that she spends plenty of money buying stuff for herself. This August, you've got a chance to get to know Shinjan and join his new adventure in his latest film. Shinosuke Nohara, or Shinjan, is always getting into adventures and, in the end, trouble. 文章一开始呢，告诉我们，野原新之助也就是小新，总是呢会有新的冒险。但是最后也会有新的麻烦。He's a naughty little boy. Oh, he is so naughty. And the article says, although he lives a normal life, this five-year-old is anything but normal. Okay, so let's take a look at our first word, normal. This adjective means it's very usual and it's ordinary. There is nothing strange about it. So for most for most people, a normal day would be like you go to school or you go to work. But if It's a typhoon day. It's not a normal day because a typhoon doesn't come every single day. It's quite strange, or it's not something we see very often. So we see here that、um, Shinjan he has a very normal life, but he is not a very normal kid. So, for example, let's use normal in a sentence. We can say, on a normal day, we wake up at 7 a.m. to get ready for school. Normal 这个形容词呢是正常的、平常的。那也可以等于 usual 或者是 ordinary。这边拼字给同学们听哦。usual 是 u s u a l， ordinary o r d i n a r y。Usual and ordinary. 那相反字呢？我们可以说 abnormal， 也就是在 normal 的前面加上 a b 就可以了。文章这边说到呢，虽然小新过着一个正常的生活，但是这个五岁大的小男孩一点也不正常。Anything but 这个片语呢，代表的是绝对不，一点也不。Shinjang is anything but normal. 
That's right. And why is he anything but normal? It says he often makes strange jokes and shows his bottom in public, which drives his parents, friends, and teachers crazy. Okay, so what does he like to do? Bottom is just your butt. He likes to show his butt off in public. Now, when you do something in public, it means that you do it for other people to see, or for many other people to see. So, yeah, he likes to show off his butt for other people.、Um, Um, the opposite of in public is in private. That means you don't want a lot of people to see something. In public, 这个片语呢是当众、公开的。那相反呢，就是 in private， 私下的。P R I V A T E in private. 那小新呢，他常常开奇怪的玩笑，而且常常当众露出他的小屁屁。<laughs> This drives his parents, friends, and teachers crazy. Mm, so he really, really drives them crazy. Now let's take a look at our phrase here: drive somebody crazy and mad. Let's take a short break and learn a little bit more about what this phrase means. Hey, why are you here so early? Oh, I had to get out of the house. Why? Everyone there is driving me crazy. Driving you crazy? A crazy person drove you here? That sounds dangerous. Haha. <laughs> no, I walked here. To drive somebody crazy or mad is to bother or upset someone. Oh, so drive somebody crazy means 使某人生气 That's right. So, what is your family doing that drives you crazy? My sisters are always fighting with each other, and my dad whistles all the time. Oops. But not real songs, just tunes. Oh, that would drive me crazy too. Does anything drive you crazy? Yes, my neighbor drives me crazy. He plays loud music all night. Yes, so just like that Britney Spears song, "You Drive Me Crazy." This means you make someone feel really angry or upset, and you make them feel crazy. So, what else is about this weird five-year-old kid? Okay, let's learn more. It says he hates green peppers with a passion, and will do almost anything for cookies. Now, passion here is our word, and it's a noun, and it means、um, a really, really powerful emotion that you feel, such as it could be love or it can be anger. So, when Xin Zhang hates green peppers with a passion, it means he really, really hates it, and he has a really strong negative feeling when he sees green peppers.、Um, for example, we can say or This is true. I used to hate dumplings with a passion when I was younger, but now I love it. Passion 这个字呢是名词，代表爱、愤怒等等强烈的情感。To have a passion for something 代表的是对某事物具有热忱。For example, I have a passion for teaching English. 我有对教英文的热忱。What about you, Tiffany? What's your passion? Hmm. I think my passion is movies and music. I love watching movies. I love listening to music. It really makes me feel good about things. I love them too.、Mm-hmm. 那回到文章中呢？新讲 hates green peppers with a passion， 代表小新极度讨厌青椒。I used to hate green peppers with a passion too, but now I love them. So I hope he'll like green peppers someday in the future. But I don't think so, right? No, I don't think so. He's such a naughty little boy. <laughs> But now he likes cookies. 他愿意为了饼干去做任何事 Hmm. And in the as we can see in the cartoons and in the in the comic books, that's exactly what he does. It's very funny. Now, next in the article, it says Shinjun is also the star of the manga and anime Crayon Shinjun. Now, manga is basically Japanese comic books, and anime is short for animation. So anime is anything that has moving pictures. So,、um, Crayon Shinjun was a manga. He was a comic book and also an anime. Or a TV show that we all kind of grew up watching, or still watch, I think today. Manga is Japanese 漫画那它是有特别日本的这个风格的漫画。另外 ，anime 它是 animation 动画这个字的简写。A N I M A T I O N animation 就是动画的意思啦。So did Crayon Shinjun become a manga and an anime at the same time? 
Hmm, that's a very good question.、Um, let's take a look. It says this manga series first came out in 1990 or 1990, and it was turned into and was turned into a TV anime in 1992. Okay, so it was first、um, a comic book and then a TV show. Now, when we talk about a series, it can be a set of books, or as we can see, comic books, articles, or TV shows, and it involves the same group of characters. Or talks about the same subject, so、um, that's why we have a lot of TV series like Game of Thrones or Thirteen Reasons Why, Stranger Things, and then we also have movie series as well. So like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings, those are movie series because we have we see the same set of characters, same group of characters, and it's focused around the same subject. Series， 它代表的是系列节目。那所谓的 TV series 就是电影、电视影集。那如果是系列电影呢？我们说是 movie series。So Tiffany talked a lot about TV series and movie series, right?、Mm -hmm. What which one is your favorite? Actually, I love watching TV series because it's shorter, and then sometimes the story can go on for longer and longer and longer.、Um, I do have a favorite TV series right now. It's called Stranger Things. Things.、Mm -hmm. Have you seen it before? 怪奇物语 Stranger、yes. Stranger Things. I love it too. Yes, it's such a good TV series. This is season two now.、Uh, I think they're moving on to season. Th well, they're filming season three now. So season two is over already. That's right. I、okay. watched it in a weekend. That's how how much I love this TV series. All right. So crayon 信件蜡笔小新 the manga series first came out in 1990. Mm -hmm. Now we saw the phrase here "come out." The phrase "come out" is used when we talk about books, films, or CDs, and it means that these books, movies, or CDs are available for people to buy or see. So the manga "Crayon Shinchan" was available for people to buy and read in the 1990s. To come out, 这个片语呢代表的是问世，所以说呢，蜡笔小新于一九九零年以系列漫画问世，一九九二年被拍成动画。Actually, besides Shinjang, his family are funny too. I know. Next, it says Shinjang lives at home with his mother Misai, his father Hiroshi, his baby sister Himawari, and their white dog Shiro. 哦、oh, ，所以呢，新疆的家人有谁？有妈妈美牙、爸爸广志、妹妹小葵，还有那只小白狗就叫小白。Let's talk about his mom first. All right. In the article, it says Misae is a housewife and is strict with her family, but often secretly breaks her own rules. Now, when you break a rule, it just means you don't follow or you don't obey the rule or the law. So,、um, for example, his mom Misae has strict rules for her children, but often breaks the rules herself. So that means she doesn't follow her own rules sometimes. Now, instead of saying break a rule, you can also say go against the rules, or you can say oh forget the Rules. That means that you don't want to listen to them. You want to forget about them. But if you're the opposite and you don't want to break any rules and you want to be, you know, good, we can say, you know, you can follow the rules or you can play it safe. Rules 是规则。那我们说遵守规则的话呢，是 follow the rules。那如果是打破规则呢，我们要用的动词是 break, break the rules， 或者是 go against the rules。那小新的妈妈常常打破自己的规则，可是文章告诉我们，她同时也是个严格的家庭主妇哦。She is strict. Hmm. So let's learn about what the word strict means. It's an adjective, and it's used to describe maybe a law, a rule, or a command that you must obey or that you must follow, and you demand others to listen as well. So, for example, we can say, "My Chinese teacher was strict." With handwriting because she wants us to write nicely, or oftentimes I'm pretty sure our moms are also strict with us as well. Our moms want us to follow their rules. That's right. Strict 这个形容词呢是严格的、严厉的。对某人某事严格啊，我们可以说 to be strict with somebody or something. My parents used to be really strict with me, and all the teachers I met in my school life were strict with me too. So Xinjiang's mom is strict, but she often breaks her 
own rules secretly. Hmm. Okay. Now let's learn about the word secretly here. Secretly is an adverb, and it means to do something in secret, and and you do something without other people knowing, or it is kept hidden. For example, we can say Jessica secretly planned a surprise party for her best friend. 我们以前学过呢 ，secret 是个名词，代表秘密。那今天呢，我们看到我们在 secret 的字尾加上了 ly， 变成了 secretly。这个副词呢，就代表的是秘密的。那小新的妈妈呢，都偷偷地打破自己的规则，秘密地打破自己的规则。She tries to hide her own mistakes. <laughs> That's right. Next in the article, we see an example says Hiroshi. Remember, it's the dad. Hiroshi is given a tiny allowance for Misae, but five. That she spends plenty of money buying stuff for herself. Now, allowance is just the money you get on a regular basis, and you can get allowance by doing housework or by doing chores at home or for doing something good from your.、Uh, and then your parents give you money. So, as we saw in the article, one example of、um, the mom Misai breaking the rules was that she would give the dad、um, a little bit of money, maybe each day or each week, but. She also spends a lot of money buying her own stuff, or buying things, or buying plenty of stuff. We can say allowance. 这个名词呢是零用钱，我们也可以说是 pocket money. 那小新的妈妈呢，只给她老公一点点的零用钱而已，可是她自己却花好多钱。She spends plenty of money. Plenty of 这个片语呢，它就是 a lot of 很多的意思。那后面呢，都可以加可数。或是不可数名词。What does she spend money on? She spends money on stuff for herself.、Mm, now, when we talk about stuff,、um, it just means things. It's、um, we say stuff to mean a lot of different things. So it's not just one thing where you buy. Okay, let's say you only buy drinks or you only buy clothes. But stuff means you buy clothes, shoes, bags, makeup, everything. So we say stuff to describe a lot of different things, and we don't have to list it out one by one. For example, I can say my sister likes to buy a lot of stuff. So her room. Is very messy. Stuff 这个名词呢，是东西的意思，它就等于 things。不过呢 ，stuff 不可以数 ，things 是可以数的。Our article for today brings me back to my childhood memory. Me too. I really want to watch、um, this TV show again later after class. It says this August you've got a chance to get to know Shin Chan, enjoy his new adventure in his latest film. So lucky for us, we can watch new episodes of Shin Chan. And his family. Now we get the chance to do this. Now get the chance to do something is a phrase, and it means you have the opportunity or chance to do something. So we can also say get the chance to do something. So get the chance to watch a movie, or we can also say have a chance. So have a chance to watch this movie. They both mean the same thing. Chance 这个名词呢是机会 ，to get a chance to get to do something， 那就是有机会做某事。所以，我们文章最后告诉我们呢，今年八月 ，this August， 你们有机会来认识蜡笔小新，并加入他的 adventures 冒险旅程。I can't wait to see him again. Me too. I love watching him and his silly little butt and him being naughty. He's a very very funny kid. I love it. So I didn't get a chance to ask you. Did you read a lot? Of his comics,、uh, I watched a lot of the TV shows instead.、Ooh. Yes, so I really, really enjoyed it. I'm really excited to, you know, have the chance now to watch the movie. Me too. <laughs> All right, so let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back with our for you chat. For you chat. All right, our for you chat question for today is: Who is your favorite manga or anime character? Hmm, my favorite one is Maruko, Inpao、mm. Xiaowanzi. I like how she interacts with her family and friends. Sometimes she's sweet, but other times she's mean. I'm a lot like her. Maybe that's why I like her so much. Ah, so you think that you're? I actually, you do kind of remind me of、um, Maruko. Yeah, a little bit. What? I mean, the my look. hair, <laughs> my look, <laughs> the the feeling. It's really the cute.、Feeling. But she's cute. Overall, she's really cute.、Okay. And you think of her as a really, really sweet girl.、Uh, my favorite 
Uh, let's say manga character. Yes. Well, I do like Sailor Moon, so we'll、Sailor、skip、Moon. that. There's too many. Okay. But I do like one really、um, small character from Rama One and a Half. Her name is Shampoo. Shampoo. She's in love with Rama, and then whenever she touches water, she becomes a cat. Do you、Ooh. remember? No, I haven't watched it.、Okay. I have to show you. It's really, really funny. Rama One and a Half is also very, very funny. I think in Chinese it's. 乱码，呃，乱码分之一。Yes, it's so funny. I love it. It's really, really funny. So I think she's one of my favorite characters. Everyone in there is really funny. All right. So who are your favorite manga or anime characters? You can share with your friends and your teachers. But that's all the time that we have for today. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Crayon Shinjan's newest adventure, Shinosuke Nohara, or Shinjan, is always getting into adventures, and in the end, trouble. Although he lives a normal life, this five-year-old is anything but normal. He often makes strange jokes and shows his bottom in public, which drives his parents, friends. And teachers crazy. He hates green peppers with a passion, and will do almost anything for cookies. Shinjan is also the star of the manga and anime Crayon Shinjan. This manga series first came out in 1990, and was turned into a TV anime in 1992. Shinjan lives at home with his mother. Masahe, his father Hiroshi, his baby sister Himawari, and their white dog Shiro. Masahe is a housewife and is strict with her family, but often secretly breaks her own rules. Hiroshi is given a tiny allowance from Masahe, but finds that she spends plenty of money buying stuff for herself. This August, you've got a chance to get to know Shinjan and join his new adventure in his latest film. Vocabulary review. Normal. Janine's ankle was back to normal two months after she had hurt it. Passion. I used to hate carrots with a passion when I was younger, but now I love them. Strict. The teacher is very strict with her students, but they learn a lot from her. Secretly, Wayne told his boss that he was sick, but he secretly went to the movies instead of to work. Stuff. I'll be home in about an hour. I need to get some stuff from the supermarket first.